Hello! I told you I would um, show you the finishing off of the yarn, uh, so here I am. Um, I'm once again using hot water. I don't remember what I did last time, but <laughs> I'm keeping it, keeping it hot. Uh, and I have several um, hanks of yarn, with skeins? Skeins of yarn, um, to finish off today. So I'll try to show you that as best I can. So in here I have the hottest water I can get out of the tap and also uh, a bunch of a detergent that's specifically made for wool. Um, this is the skein of yarn that um, is least washed, uh, so it's going to have a lot of lanolin in it, um, while the other ones are uh, half washed, uh, like the rinse I did. Um, so I'm going to let this soak for a while and then see if, uh, yeah. It's already been in here for a good while, so I think I think there's enough water and detergent to put the others in without any trouble. Uh, I'm just guessing. So um, this is the skein I made on my wheel, and these three are gifts I got from uh, when I spent some time in Gudvangen this summer. Um, so as far as I know, these have been, like, before they were spun, um, they were soaked. Um, and this one I also saw soaked. None of them have been tied with ties like the others. So um, I just hope nothing untowards happens uh, and I don't end up with a huge tangle. Uh, usually I tie them, but I didn't um, with these and these were untied when I got them. So the plan is to wash them now and then hang them to dry with uh, some weight to it so that I don't end up with uh, kinky yarn. Um, so it's all straightened out, especially these that have been um, hang like lying in a, in a sort of hank twisted way for a long time. They need some straightening. Okay, so I'm going to leave them for a while and then come back. So now uh, they've been in here for, a, I don't know, a good while, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And I'm going to swish them around a little to wash them. Hello. You want to be in the video? No, I'm just out of sight. Of course. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to uh, try to swish them around a little if I can manage it without making tangles and then take them out and then we rinse several times I think. Find trusty colander. And now no tangles please. The first uh, rinse, I may have sprayed down the entire bathroom in the process, but mm, it, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Um, yeah, so it goes in. Um, this is equally warm as the previous one, 
The most important thing to avoid felting in wool is to keep the temperature uh, the same and to uh, not have too much agitation. So I'm not trying to like, I'm not rubbing it together or anything. I'm just like leaving it be. <laughs> So now I'm uh, standing on, I don't know. It's been a while since I finished yarn, uh, so I don't remember how I used to do it. Um, I think the last time I finished yarn was, oh, I don't know. In my own way, maybe last autumn, so like almost a year ago, or maybe last like early spring. I haven't made yarn in a while. So, uh, yep. <laughs> it's been a little while. And, uh, and also, I mean, uh, three of these are unknown quantities because I haven't made them myself. Um, the three I got from, um, from Gudvangen are single ply which I don't usually do, and which usually ends up kind of like this. I don't know if you can see, very kinky, uh, because it all the twist is going in one direction. But well, when you do a two-ply, the twist goes in both directions and cancels each other, each other out, which makes for a much more calm yarn. <laughs> but the reason for, for um, like soaking wool Never mind if you need to wash it, but like just soaking wool when you're finished is to set the twist so it sort of calms down. Um, I mean, the yarn that I just made, this one, is already quite calm. Uh, and that's because I made it on a, it's two ply and I made it on a um, drop spindle, which I feel I have much more control over because I'm not a beginner anymore. Uh, well, this one I made on my wheel, and it's much more kinky. Um, so all those sort of kinks are getting tugged out now that I'm finishing it. Um, when I'm hanging it to dry, I'm hanging it to dry with a weight. Um, so I'm going to do that for all of these. They're going to have weights on them. Um, I think that's enough time in this bath. So let's take them out. Maybe I can take all of them out at the same time. Yes, I can! Okay. okay, the water is almost clear. Uh, so I think I only want one more rinse. I want to make sure all the um, soap is gone and most of the lanolin. So now the water is basically clear. Um, I usually do a taste test uh, <laughs> of wet things to check if all the soap is out. So <laughs> even though it sounds a little gross, um, I find it's the best way to figure out if there's any soap left. So, doesn't taste like soap, tastes like sheep. So uh, I'm happy with that. I don't know if you saw that on camera, but I just like put the wool towards my mouth and sucked a little to taste the water that comes off. So, there's still some lanolin left in uh, a lot of this, but that's good for working in my opinion, and I can always wash the finished items at the end. Uh, so now, these need to, need to be um, hung with some weights, and um, so we'll see you then. <laughs> of course I forgot a step. Um, <laughs> first I need to dry them, and I'm going to use these clean towels. Um, they will go in the wash after this, because uh, most likely there will be lanolin and stuff, and also wool that falls off. Um, yeah, it's basically a question of squeezing, um, but 
I'll show you that as well. So I'm going to start with this one, which has been neatly, um, neatly tied. And first, I'm just going to wring some some water out of the, not wring, but like squeeze some water out. Over here. If not, all that would be going into the towel, and I don't want that. Um, so then, when I've squeezed, it's a question of putting it down here and then rolling it up and squeezing. Many people often stand on it or kneel on it, like I'm doing now. It's just a question of getting most of the moisture out because drying yarn takes can often take quite a long time and you want it totally dry um, at the end, so the more you can get out at this point, the better. So now I'm going to move it to a drier spot and do it again. I think it is sufficiently dry. Some people then um, like smack the yarn like like this, um, and it basically straightens out, straightens out any kinks. But <laughs> this doesn't really have any kinks. It's uh, very balanced. So I can demonstrate with one of the others that I need to do that on. Let's see. I think I can still use this. Let's turn it. <laughs> and now let's go for the tangled mess that is my <laughs> yarn that I made it on my wheel. So <laughs> I don't think it's too tangled, but I also didn't put any ties in here, and now I'm regretting it. Uh, <laughs> but it's late, and I just wanted this done. Uh, I guess I'm stupid. Um, is this the right one? No, just almost. Yeah, uh, if anyone um, is wondering, always put ties in your <laughs> in your yarn um, to stop this mess. Maybe, maybe this is right. There's, there's some sort of mess going on here. I don't like mess. Why did I do this? Why did I put myself through this? Oh, I don't know. All I can do is give it my best shot. And then I guess I can rewind this on my own knitted it not And, uh, can sort all this out. So first, let's dry it and then I can think, I guess, I don't think rewinding while it's wet is a good idea, but I also don't want to hang it with a weight when it's not correct. <laughs> oh, this was a bad idea. Oh well, I mean, you're seeing my journey, and I guess part of my journey is m making mistakes. Um, I guess that's okay. I think I'll get, get a usable yarn out of this. In any case, let's see if I can fix this. Okay, I am going to try to rewind this. I'll be back. So this is my Nidu Nodi. Um, and I am going to try my best to rewind this. Which is kind of a mess. And I did find the end. Where was the end? There's the end. So 
So I'm going to leave one end on the floor to avoid triple disaster. I don't know if this is a good idea either, um, but we'll see, I guess. Choose the wrong end. Come on. So that tangle was a mess. I spent more than one and a half hours untangling it. Now it's just sitting on this nitty nitty and it's, uh, yeah, it's gonna stay there until I can do something else with the ties this time. But I was successful with the other ones, so here they are. Um, these ones all didn't have any ties, but they were also very short as you can see very short compared to the brown one that you, you can see down there so all of them have got some weights um and uh yeah hanging to dry different shades of brown and beige uh all natural the natural sheep colors basically so I'm happy with uh, tonight's progress, but it is now past midnight on a weekday. So um, yeah, no more wool uh, for tonight and we'll see tomorrow.